This is North Georgia's News Talk. WGUN. Hey, hey, hey. Windows or door locks not working right on your vehicle? Go see the guys, gals, and Golden Retriever who serves as the personal greeter at Nichols Body Shop. Along with a free estimate, quality repairs with old-fashioned service. Nick Nichols and his wife, Laura, will donate $25 to the school organization of your choice in your name with any repairs made. Do you hear that? $25 school organization of your choice in your name with any repairs made. Just mention the offer. They'll get it done. Nichols Body Shop on Atlanta Highway in Flowery Branch. Free estimates available as well. Those are my buddies. Go see them. I want to congratulate Danny Cash of Gainesville, winner of four tickets to the barbecue at Chesity Baptist. A lot of good food happening this Saturday. They're doing a lunch. They're doing a dinner. We'll give away four more tickets tomorrow. If Even if you live alone, call in, get the four tickets, and get like four plates of food. I mean, that's di- That's, yeah, that's really it. how it works. It's, it's, yeah. One ticket means you get food. So you get four tickets and you bring them all by yourself, then you get four people's <laughs> worth of food. That's how it works. Of course, my mind immediately goes to <laughs> fat girl problems. Like, wait, if I get four tickets, I can get four plates of food instead of the one that like a normal person would want. ACC Women's Basketball Tournament starts Wednesday in Greensboro, North Carolina. And Friday, this past Friday, that is, I caught up with former Norcross and Buford star, current Georgia Tech starter and freshman Kayla Davis. We talked about her excitement level heading into the tournament and how she's been able to make the transition from high school hoops to major Division I college basketball seems so seamless. But for starters, I wanted to know how she felt about her biggest competition for ACC Freshman of the Year being two players in Lexi Brown and Diamond to Shields, also from Gwinnett County. Yeah, you know, like I said, I think it's more just a, a pride thing, you know. Um, and like you said, you know, we're all close, we're all friends. So I think if anything, we keep up with each other just to kind of um, – you know, just like I said, help each other out. And like I said, you know, it's, it's really cool just to all be from the same area. Um, you know, I remember playing Lexi and playing Maryland. It's just cool to, you know, hear two freshmen starting that are, you know, both from Swanee, Georgia. So, you know, it's just it's stuff like that that, um, you know, it's really cool. And I think, um, you know, growing up with Lexi, if anything, I'm just, you know, really proud of her in the season she's having just because, uh, you know, like I said, to see somebody that's, you know, as close as what I would call my sister, you know, it's, it's cool to see her. Um, you know, doing all the great things that she is at Maryland. So, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's a pride thing, and it's, you know, we keep up with each other as, as friends, I think. Kayla, you made the transition from high school to major college basketball look seamless. How, how were you able to do that? How were you able to be so successful uh, for a major ACC program so quickly? Um, you know, I had a lot of great people behind me. Um, you know, I can't, I don't think I can take a lot of that credit for myself. You know, I think I had a ton of people behind me that, um, you know, were doing nothing but trying to help me transition, you know, all throughout high school. You know, it wasn't just, um, you know, the summer before my senior year, or the summer even going into college. It was, you know, all throughout high school, people constantly talking to me, um, you know, just about what, is gonna, what it was going to take to be successful at this level. So, I still have those people in my life to this day. You know, I'm really grateful and really blessed to have those people. So, um, you know, like I said, I just I had a ton of a ton of really really good help that you know knew what they were talking about to prepare me for, um, I guess, kind of what I was getting <laughs> tossed into a little bit. So. Um, you know, like I said, it was, it was a ton of great people. Got the ACC tournament coming up. I, I want to know your thoughts on this. How has your team changed? How has your team evolved? How has your team progressed? Um, you know, I think we've made tremendous progress from, you know, the first game. It was tough. You know, our first ACC game was Duke. And, um, you know, I think just from that game to playing at Florida State, um, you know, Thursday night, I think that's, you know, that progress from the first game to the game now and hopefully – um, you know, our last regular season game Sunday against Boston College, I think we've made tremendous progress. You know, I think we've all found, um, you know, kind of our niche and what we need to do to be successful. And, you know, we have a ton of people stepping up, um, you know, each and every night. So I think it's when you have that, when you can kind of, you know, put your trust in everybody, it's, it's you know, we, we get we get results. So, you know, we're winning games. We've got a couple big games um, you know, under our belts. And I think, like I said, everybody's just stepping up and, you know, doing their part. How uh, integral a part of your success this year um, has been learning from 
Ty Marshall. She's having a killer season as well. Uh, yeah. What's the relationship like between you two, and, and what are you learning from her? If anything, I just, it's, you know, obviously Georgia Tech, you know, every program is different. So I think, one, how do you be successful, you know, at Georgia Tech and, you know, what you need to do to be successful within this program. But, you know, at the same time, just how are you successful within the ACC? Um, you know, she's a senior. This is her last go around. And, you know, I guess she knows all the in and outs of it. So, um, if anything, you know, she's just kind of taking me under her wing and, you know, we've tried to kind of figure things out, you know, help each other out a little bit, you know, that's why you possibly can. And, um, you know, we just, I think we're just kind of a, you know, kind of a team, you know, like I said, we, we help each other figure things out and, um, you know, we, we find ways to make things work. So she's been absolutely great, you know, just helping me as far as, you know, like I said, just figuring things out as far as the ACC and, you know, Georgia Tech has itself. Third season coming up. You've got your, you know, your your first couple of weeks of the season uh, where playing out of conference and then maybe a Christmas tournament. You've got your second season, which is obviously the conference regular season, and then your third season, which is postseason play. As a freshman, your first time kind of being thrown into the gauntlet of the, the ACC tournament and, and hopefully the NCAA tournament. Uh, how are you feeling? For sure. You know, I think that's all I really feel right now is, you know, it's just pure excitement. You know, it's a blessing to be able to, um, you know, be in the situation I'm in and, you know, talking to coach, uh, you know, we've put ourselves in a, in a good position. Um, you know, we worked hard for that. So I think, like I said, with the progress that we're making and, um, you know, the direction that we're headed, I definitely think that, you know, we're playing ourselves into a postseason. And, you know, I don't, I don't think you can help being anything but excited for that. So, um, you know, it's exciting. It's, you know, kind of curious as the, you know, what, what it brings. Um, you know, obviously I've played in a lot of big games, a lot of big tournaments, but, you know, none of them are the ACC tournament. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's excitement. You know, it's kind of a new adventure. So um, I'm excited for it. For the fourth time this season, Kayla named the ACC Rookie of the Week. Her four rookie awards, Rookie of the Week awards, conference high among all the rookies, and her 18-point-per-game average uh, leading ACC freshman, 